All right, so hey guys, and welcome back to Heavy Rain. I just want to say thanks for those of you that came to watch me play this game, whether it was for five minutes, 10 minutes, or the entire playthrough. Um, I, I really, really appreciate it, and I hope you guys enjoyed your stay. So without further ado, we're just going to go on in, and uh, we've got about an hour or so left. And we're going to finish this, right? Today is the day we find out what happens to all these characters. Who's going to stay alive? Who's going to die? And, uh, I don't know. I'm here to see Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here. That's fellas. her over there in the back, by the way. So as we're exiting, you he's coming in. Certain? He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. Oh, don't worry. I've been here before. I wonder what's going to happen when this guy discovers that Paco is... Oh, wait. Oh, he's already released. Oh. The crazy beast came around here asking questions about the apartment on Marble Street. I don't know what you're doing. Now. I don't want to know. Or whatever that shit. He's beginning to draw attention. Oh, that's the origami killer? Could that be the detective? I know. You get me out of three. It has to be the detective. Beach nearly killed me. Everything you ask, I think my debt to you is paid. Don't fuck around, man. No. No, wait. I, I can still help you out. No. Don't, don't keep me. Oh, what the? Bro, that's gotta be the detective. I swear, there's no way. I mean, last episode made it very clear to us that it, it was definitely, no, not definitely, but very, very likely that it was him. Paco is dead, so now we can't get really any info from him. It's like it's like the origami killer knew we were coming. Eh, open that shit up, man. Oh, he did. Hold on. Can I access my thoughts? No, I can't. He's dead. But where did he escape through? There's only one door. Right in the frickin' forehead. See, if that would have been Lincoln Clay, he would have survived. <laughs> As he did. PlayStation 4 controller now. R1. So now I gotta get used to this. How the frick? Oh, that's a big boy right there. That's a big boy. Oh! I don't like these. These. Oh god, you're gonna stab him. He's already dead, you maniac. I mean, look at that frame, dude. He's a big guy. Is this just... Come on, come on, come on, come on. is a detective actually he doesn't walk the same he doesn't really walk the same yeah he had a little bit of a different walk the only thing that kind of gives him away is the fact that he's got like the same type of clothes his body the big dude you know I came to see him. Sorry, I don't speak cop. 
Oh yeah, you better start speaking up now, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Watch my lips, asshole, because I got no time to translate. Did Taco know the guy? Yes or no? John. He said his name was John. Friend of Paco's. Always let him straight up. Out there. Out to nowhere. He he could have killed me. Why didn't he? I'll end up a basket case if things keep going like this. That bastard nearly broke my neck. He <laughs> got our asses kicked. The suspect dead. Someone tries to kill me. On the right track, do you think? Mm, it was too dark. It all happened so fast. Didn't have time to see his face. Hako knew the killer. That's why he was killed. I seem to spend most of my time getting the shit kicked out of me. Okay, so I don't think we should... I mean, we don't have any any reason to go back inside, right? Or do we? He... He could have killed me. Why didn't he? Oh, now we can go back in here and investigate the room. For clues. Oh, yeah. You made a grave mistake, bucko. I'm going to inspect your gadget on your ass now. Madison Page? What was the journalist doing here? How about... A bullet right between the eyes. Instant death. Hmm. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Oh, hold on. There's something on the ground here. His coat pocket. I tore it off during the fight. Two receipts from the same gas station. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, here we have more information about the weapon. The shell. 45 caliber. Okay. And then this here we have... It's gotta be his. He's the one to put on the music, right? Hackle, yeah. 45 caliber semi automatic. Drop the gun. Okay. Anything else? I think we've got all the clues, honestly. I don't think we can gather anything else. Oh, I didn't see this earlier? Sheesh. That's our gun, right? I wonder. If I, I, I wonder if I should keep the glasses. No, never mind. I was gonna say keep them on, maybe see something in the hallways or something like that. Apparently, that's not what we're supposed to do. This guy must be going crazy. He's like, he's probably hopeless. Oh man, he's crying. Ethan, are you all right? She's a good friend. I couldn't do it. I was supposed to kill him to save Sean. And I couldn't do it. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. You're not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. That changes nothing. Saving Sean is all that matters now. Hell yeah, I'm a kiss. <laughs> what are you... What are you talking about? <laughs> it's not a question of... How are you, are you not? Are you dumb? A fat yes. Come here, girl. Oh, yeah. Cover your eyes, okay? Or mute your phone or something. Especially if mom's around or something. Might get a little weird around here. Oh, yeah. 
Sean, you're gonna have to hold on, son. All right, you better better learn how to catch your breath underwater. I'm doing my due diligence right now. You understand? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I don't know how to take off clothes. Apparently, I'm, I'm a little nervous here. There we go. Nice, easy. Does definitely not the right time to be doing this. I mean, it's kind of strange. I met you like literally today or yesterday. I don't know. And you started healing me, and now you okay. Page. <sighs> Looks like you haven't really. Oh, okay. There we go. Madison Page. Oh. Go for the neck, Ethan. Savage. Mark your territory. Just, just bite it off. <laughs> okay, are we done here? No? Okay, good. I had to skip some parts. My game also crashed. Um, just so you know. It was kind of crazy. But this is also not the time to be sleeping. I mean, I know after a good session, it's normal, but... You got responsibilities on, Ethan. Come on now. You gotta think about your son. He's probably crying his ass off right now. I've already wasted too much time. I've got to get through this last trial. Things might have worked out between us if circumstances had been different. Wow. She's the only person I can trust. But now I have to be alone to do what I have to do. Only one more origami figure. Then I find my son. Okay, so we can She's still, still find asleep. Him. No goodbyes, no explanations. I'll just leave before she wakes up. Oh, dude, that's the type of oh, damn, bro. Man's watching too many movies. That's the how to make her fall in love move right there. <laughs> bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I'm out. Hold on. Um. Okay. I gotta go to the table for the origami figure, right? Hello? Can we pick up my clothes? Okay, I figured as much. He's probably gonna wake up. I mean, I, I would honestly prefer both of them to get together. Rather than him, him by himself. But again, it's one of those, you know, she's only gonna slow us down type of thing. See what the last one is. The last letters, nine six one Rainbow Lane. Dude, what happens if you, if you touch her? Oh no, you just look at her. this time and I had no idea Ethan what's the matter I thought I meant something to you listen I 
you're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! <gasps> Ethan, I, I I wanted to tell you, but... What kind of article were you gonna write? My life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it was fucking worth it! Ethan, it's not what you think. I... You lied to me, Madison! All this time you fucking lied to me! I thought you wanted to help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book! Oh, whoa. It's true. I'm a journalist. And I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared, and... And I wanted to cover the story. But then I saw what you were going through to save your son. And... And I understood how much you love him. I wanted to tell you the truth, but I couldn't. It's I was always afraid that. that you... That you... May not believe me. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want... Is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. So weird, bro. Like, how do you just... I'll forgive her. Hell yeah, bro. Come on now. <laughs> Don't betray I'm sorry, me. sorry, Ethan. Don't betray me. I'm so sorry. You're leaving, aren't you? Yeah, I think my son's more important than anything. It's the anything. last origami figure. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Take care, Ethan. I can't lose you now. It's so weird, like, how she's, like, so into him. I mean, she's only... I don't know, I felt like that was a little rushed. Like, somebody doesn't just fall for a person like that. You know, like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I'm going to go find something to eat. Wait for me. I'll, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Yeah. He's not going to wait for her. Now we got to find his son. And I think I know where to start looking. Why not just... We'll find his son and prove he's innocent. I'll be able to help him now that he knows who I am. Why not just come with him? I was so afraid he wouldn't believe me. Wrong move, idiot. I should have admitted everything earlier. In love? I, um... Uh, I think I'm starting to fall in love. <laughs> you need to slow it down there, sister. Uh, this is funny. Eh, whatever. It's a game. Fall in love all you want. Fuck that. Keep it coming. I'm here for it. Uh-oh. That's the popo. Oh. Cops. They're looking for Ethan. It looks like a raid. Oh my god. We gotta make a phone call. Wait, why can't I go up there? Come on, what was the damn number? I don't fucking know. Come on, come on. Pick up the phone. Hello? The cops. They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here. It was 207? I actually guessed that. <laughs> He's still on the move. Get him. He's making a run for it. He's on the balcony! Oh god. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh 
Fuck, man. Fucking stupid. Go to the roof. 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 Don't move. What the fuck? No, come on! Game over. Bro, I hate this, bro. Fucking my nerves. Just like, I, I can't even think straight. I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. We still have time, but it's running out. Help me, Ethan. Tell me what you know. I'm sure you had your reasons for doing what you did. You didn't think you were doing any harm. You just wanted the pain to go away. I'll help explain all that to the judge. Don't let Sean die. I don't think he killed him. Tell us what you know, and we can still save him. Convince angry, desperate victims. Look at these, Ethan. Look at these. Eight photographs. Eight lives taken. Drowned in the goddamn rain. Recognize this one, huh? That's your son, Ethan. That's Sean. He is still alive. Talk to me, Ethan. Say something! Convince, desperate, convince. You've lost, Ethan. What will you gain with one more victim? Huh? Just say something, dude. I kidnapped my son. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. What? The only way to find him is to let me out of here. So he thinks I'm the only person who can save him. So he thinks that he kidnapped some because he thinks You say you can save him, but you don't know where he is. That doesn't make sense, Ethan. I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. Time's running out, Ethan. And frankly, I don't care why you did it. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. He thinks that he is the kidnapper when he blacks out. Okay. This is your last chance, Ethan. And this time, I suggest you think carefully before you answer. Where is Sean? I told you, I don't know. Ah! Wrong answer. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Relax, dude. Come on, asshole. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Come on, come on there, pussy. Let's see what you got. Oh. 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 Want to play games, asshole? Come on. Let's play a little game. You're out of your mind, Blake. This is gonna cost you your badge. You better get the hell out of here, Norman. Before I give in to the temptation of painting the walls with your fucking brains.
That is not the way it's gonna go. I'm gonna tell the whole story to Captain Perry. That bastard is gonna beat a confession out of Mars. He just wants a culprit, even if it's the wrong guy. Fuck! That asshole has gone too far this time. Where the fuck is the, uh... Hold on. And I don't have to go to my office, do I? And here? Blake is trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Mars. You've got to do something! Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Mars or sparing that lowlife a few bruises? You can't make omelets without breaking a few eggs. God damn! Ethan Mars is innocent! We've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of finding him alive! This case has worn you out, Norman. You need some time off to think it through. We should have said, listen, we faced the killer. He was a much bigger guy. So dumb. I, I, I put, don't take it. Don't take it. Don't take it. I put, don't take it. Oh my god, we're gonna end up killing this fucking guy, dude. Did he just die? Did he just fuck? I'm so confused. I gotta find some way to get Ethan Mars out of here. Even if there's only a one in a thousand chance he's telling the truth, he may still be able to save his son. He may be guilty. He's acting odd, his statements are all confused, and heck, he never said he wasn't the origami killer. I should consult my superiors. Maybe... <sighs> no, that's stupid. I gotta handle this on my own. My gut feeling is that Mars is innocent, and I gotta get him out of here. Did Mars confess? No, not yet. He it's none of my business. If Perry and Blake think we'll give Mars a break is the and killer, then we'll get back. What to can him. I do about it? You must be tougher than I thought. Tough I can't not, do crack. anything for Mars. They These are serious do. charges he's facing. In any case, I just don't believe he's guilty. Lieutenant. Nothing about him matches. Job. What? I'm sorry, guys. The killer's profile. I've called a press conference. Going to kick off in one hour. I expect it'll be quite an event. That shithead Don't Perry doesn't give a damn if Blake beats up a witness or if Mars is innocent. No All he wants is to we be able to tell the press they've arrested That's the origami the killer. To know. Leave us alone. I... Uh... Lieutenant Blake said to... Please. Leave us alone. Right, uh... I'll be at the door if you need anything. Christ, are you all right, Ethan? Oh my God, <laughs> poor guy, dude. Maybe getting get captured was part of it all, you know? I've Maybe it save was. my son. Let's see what I can do. <laughs> Should be able to get him out of here without being noticed. Shit, what am I doing? Helping a suspect to escape? That'll cost me my badge and earn me a 10 year stretch. Interrogation room. Interesting. Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. If huh. you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. Interesting. First, get rid of the cuffs. Okay. Where's his desk? All right. Turn off the camera. He said vest or desk. Huh. I want to say he said desk, but it could be vest. 
the desk. I don't know. I don't know what his fucking desk is. Could be this one. Or one of these. There we go. Oh, we're gonna dress him as a cop. <laughs> Holy shoot. That's it. You're free. Here, put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even think. Just walk. I don't know what to say. I... Just say you're gonna save your son. Damn. I hope I won't regret that. Scott Shelby. Wait a minute. Interesting how we're coming from somewhere. Interesting. Lord? I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Your investigation is over. For good. Oh, so it's not him. Wait, what? Wait, what? Who the fuck's the killer then? I thought it was him. Big dude. Looks super suspicious. Oh, both of them? Shit. Dude, that's fucking creepy. Lauren. Lauren, wake up. Lauren. Lauren! Lauren! <laughs> Fuck! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, oh, God damn it! Oh, oh, God damn it! Shit, 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 shit! Please give me some chance. Give me a 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 chance. Oh, I gotta save her. R1. R1. I gotta save her. I gotta save her. That's retarded. That's retarded. Why? Why would you do that? How about Lauren? No, what the fuck are you doing? Wait. I want to cry. I really want to cry. Dude, please tell me that she was like, that's normal that she's supposed to die. Although that sounds fucked up, but. Oh, man, I thought that pressing those buttons, he was going to do something like probably untie her, but he started breaking the freaking glass. Maybe we're not the killer. Eh. Oh, 
Oh shit, Scat Chubby and fucking around. Bro! Oh my god! <laughs> this guy's a freaking monster. Wow. Let's go. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Fuck. I gotta try and focus a little bit more. Thing is that the numbers really they they, they fade away really fast. The, not the much. None of can't even speak right now. Damn it! Not the numbers. The fucking what is this? The uh the prompts. I don't know. Scott Shelby is a little too good. Boy's a little too good. Stay back. Don't come near me, or I'll shoot. <clears throat> Fucking asshole. Please. Oh my god. What is he gonna do? Master, Lauren is dead. You fucking killed Stop. her. Stop! Stop! I beg you! Oh, he already killed her. He already killed her. Your idiot son killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No! No! He's innocent! He's not a killer! Not a killer! It's funny how, how different he sounds when he doesn't have his bodyguards, huh? <laughs> like a bitch. You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No, no, please, don't hurt me. Last chance. I don't know. I swear, I don't know anything. Oh. oh. Stop. Stop. I beg you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Uh, Gordy, Gordy always wanted his fun, you know. He wanted to, to be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and he held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident, an unfortunate accident. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did, Gordy, Gordy is my son. No one will miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. The street trash, like so many others. Oh. You disgusting pile of shit. Wow. What about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I, grave? I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. His mother. His mother should know. Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard. That girl, Lauren, she was just a whore. You'll forget her in no time. Come and work on me, Shelby. I'll pay you well. You may ever have all the girls you want. Never say her name again. You hear me? Never. He's gonna try and kill me. My heart! 
quickly. I need my pills. In that drawer. There. I can't let him die, even though he deserves it. Okay, yeah. I don't want more people dying, you know what I mean? I'm no better than him if I let him die. I'm so confused. I thought our, our guy was supposed to be... Thank you. You... You saved my life. I already regret it. Friday the following day it's still raining Jesus Christ <coughs> only a few hours left before Sean Mars dies hope I'm not wasting my time John Shepard died 30 years ago Hope his mother has all the answers to this puzzle. Oh. Hello, I'm looking for Ann Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. <laughs> We're probably going to meet up with, with the detective here as well. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her. You know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. Room 19. Where is that? I feel like we're gonna... We're gonna meet up with the, uh, with the uh, detective. Room 19. Where is that? It's at the end. 19. 19. That be her over there? 17, 18, 16, 19. Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... Oh. My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. Do you remember John? My mm. Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Okay, let's see. Second son. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. Wow. Poor lady, dude. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? Okay. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. Or or origami's I right think there. I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? 
terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me. Can you believe it? In ten years, never. No wow. one forgets their mother, do they? Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother, what was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. Oh my God. You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. Ooh, maybe we can go get those flowers back there. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. It'd take days, if not longer, to find the name of the family that adopted her son. Sean Mars would be dead by then. Okay. Maybe bring those flowers over there. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. Oh, would you look at this? Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. This woman might be the origami killer's mother. Must be some way to get her to remember. Okay. You'll probably have to... <clears throat> probably have to do an origami or something here. Who knows? Let's see. to do these little dogs too <laughs> my children loved origami i taught them how to do it john loved the little dogs he always wanted to call them max 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 all dogs with the same name i was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name <laughs> but he always wanted his paper dogs max it's funny isn't it Hmm. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. Her memory is coming back. Don't stop now. Just, just remember. All right, no point in wasting no, my time. Yeah, there is I won't point. learn anything more by staying here. Hold on. Should I have done all these things prior to? Hmm. What do we have here? Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and... What was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. Oh, that sucks for the other one, dude. <laughs> it's like, fuck. Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. It's gotta be the flowers. Did she ever mention her sons? Sons? Well, she often mentions John. I, I think he drowned. Does she ever talk about her other son? I didn't know she had another one. I've never heard her mention it. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for 10 years and you're the first. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get her to remember. Thanks for the advice. Hmm. Show her things that take her back. Okay, it's gotta be the flower. We gotta take this flower to her. Yeah. This is an orchid. So, she'll probably remember this. Just so fucking sad, dude. 
Imagine being this old and just... When I used to work as a... As a medic at the ambulance company and stuff like that, you would go and visit these older folks and... It's really bad to live like this. Trust me. It's shitty. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. Aww. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. Oh. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. Okay. Just freaky. What? What? What does she say? Fuck, <laughs> come on. What did she say? Oh my God. 961 rainbow line in the last okay obviously ethan left oh shit oh man the last origami figure the last trial this sucks the last origami figure the last trial Okay. This is well, <laughs> very well put together, if I say so myself. It's gotta be the whitest fucking room I've ever seen. The last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your son? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so if I drink this, we die and we save our son. If I don't drink this, we escape, maybe go to prison, and our son dies. I feel like it'd be dumb for us not to drink it, like just considering everything that we've done so far. It's hard, but. Oh, fuck, please. Oh. truth. He's 
being recorded. The last letters have been sent to your phone. How do you know my phone? Oh, that's right, because they, they know the phone. I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. We've got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? It's what are you talking awesome. about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. No longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. What a fucking idiot. I feel like this guy's part of it too, considering he just wants to point his Blake, finger at anybody. You are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Why would you do that? The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Caliber 45. Impounded in a police case five years ago. The gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out? If not a cop. Hmm. I don't know, man. That kind of leads to... Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. And where's that gas station at? No uh, identifiable That prints. doesn't get us anywhere. Okay. The origami figure. It's a dog, right? Okay, that's the orchid. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake. That would explain the dead end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. Oh. Investigate further. I don't know. Fuck. Um. Geo analysis. What do we have here? Let's go to the receipts and then go to the geo analysis. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go, bucko. Cops. There's only one cop in that geo profiling zone. Gotcha. He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. Oh my god. I think we got it.
Are you sure it's the right car? At the docks. Call the SWAT team. Oh, and I'll need a chopper. Today? Of course I'll need it today, you fucking imbecile. work is too far away. I'd never make it in time. Hold on, bro. I'll find someone. Then we'll come back and save you. Oh my god. Dad, I've gotta get Dad. He's the only one who can save John. I've gotta move. Oh, how do, how do I, how do I? I've gotta find someone. The water's still rising. John won't be able to hang up for long. Oh my god, oh my god. I need to get help fast. John's gonna drown. John's. Dad, Dad, it's John. He, he fell in your pot. Oh, He's gonna die. You, you little pest. Leave me alone. Come, on. Dad. Come on. John's gonna die. John's gonna die. Well, that'll be one less greedy mouth to feed, won't it? Wow. Go away. Please, Dad, I'm begging you. John's gonna die. John's gonna die. Why don't I Dad. tell ya? Crap. <laughs> Bro, are there really parents like that? Really, dude? I tried, John. I really tried. But he wouldn't come. Please don't die, John. Please. Don't. Don't forget about this guy. Scott. It's it's Scott. <laughs> Yo, that's so sad. Oh, fucking A. Oh. Please don't forget about me, Scotty. Why would he do that, man? I mean, I get it. But. Why would he do that? Why would he do that to other kids, you know? His reason is probably to remember his brother or whatever, but. Come on, you don't do that. It's fucking trash. Fucking killer, dude. He killed her son. That son of a bitch. He was just trying to go around to get all the evidence. And destroy all the evidence against them.
Wow. I fucking knew it, dude. Son of a bitch. Oh, he wants to go see her? Dude, this game is getting so freaking crazy. <sighs> this is not going to be good. Let's hope he's not home. Well, he is home. Informed the police. <clears throat> but I have no proof. Just the statement of an old woman who's lost her memory. The moment of truth. If Ann Shepard gave me the right name, the origami killer lives here. The killer might be here. I better be careful. If he's in his apartment, I'll pretend I got the wrong floor. I don't know if I want to knock, honestly. I don't want to knock. Maybe, maybe if we knock or not, maybe we still gotta do this, but. Come on, bro. This fucking motion sensor bullshit. Got it. I lost your touch, girl. This is sketchy as fuck. Wait, should I? The origami killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. This is not good. Gotta be fast. He could come back any time. I'll go through it room by room. But there's bound to be some kind of clue. Here we go. We gotta do this fast. That's his mother, right? His mother's. Oh no, that's okay. <gasps> Inhaler. Used to. Exactly how an investigation would be carried out. <laughs> That's why he's fucking ahead of the game. He knows it all. That's oh, where the smell it's... of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. It's gonna be in there. A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. <sighs> That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Wow. Wow. Dude. That makes perfect sense. That makes perfect fucking sense, dude.
Shelby could come back at any moment. Sean Mars. Oh, the lunatic's been watching him drown. But it's some kind of a well filling up when with When the parents rain. come home from Slowly church, all the children him. were gone. They searched There's not much time them. left. There, there, there must be something here. Show oh, Shit. It's it's the the password. password. John Orchid Rain. It's gotta be John. Come on, come on, rain. Ah, oh, fuck, orchid. Really? Origami. Wow, I got it incorrect. So you found my little secret. It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. Don't kill her. Damn door is the only way out. What else is there? I can't get out. I'm gonna die, and there'll be no one to save Sean. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The door is locked. No way out. All right, what's the password? Max. It's gotta be Shepard. Got oh, Max. Max. Max, 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 Max. Child. Yep. What the hell is that? An address. It's got to be where Sean Mars is. Hurry, there's no time to lose. Nice, so it's road. Uh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Um, what the fuck? Come on, come on. Um. Come on, come on, come on. No, it's gotta be the other wall. No, no, no. Don't die on me, girl. Don't, 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 don't fucking die on me. Don't fucking die on me. Which one is it? Good, good. Now you can breathe. Good. R1. Triangle. I mustn't breathe in the smoke. The window, the window. Get out of the window. Go through the window. is already in flames. I gotta move fast if I want to get out alive. Fuck, 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 fuck. There's a window open on the other side. Don't jump. No point in trying to get out the window. The jump would kill me. Whoa. 
What the fuck? The entire fucking... There it is. What are you doing, Madison? Fuck! because it's pointless. Oh no, that's the bathroom. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, maybe, maybe that's, maybe, maybe. Maybe that's not the door then. Okay, that's the kitchen. What? Are you really gonna fucking hide there? there Just hit in a freaking fridge. I know where Sean is. I've got to tell Ethan. Well, Ethan knows kind of already, right? Well, we don't know that. What? If, well, yeah, the address that we had is the correct. Yeah, so he he's going to the right place. Oh my goodness. This is wild. Fucking wild. Yo, Scott Shelby, he's a fucking motherfucker, dude. He's gonna kill me in a few minutes. I I've got to find Sean fast. Sean! It's right there at the end. Sean's done for if I've got the address wrong. Come on, man. Are you fucking kidding me? Sean! Sean! He's right there. He's right there. I've been looking for her long. Long. Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. Wow. Sacrifice himself in order to save his son. <laughs> oh, I searched, searched, searched. And then I remembered you.
What the fuck? All those murders. Just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I've suffered just as much as my victims. I finished your damn trials. Now give me back my son. He's there. All you have to do is open that grate. Locked. Don't do that, Shelby. Oh, my God. Okay. I'll get you out of there, Sean. Okay. We need something. We need something to open this fucking thing up. There it is. There it is. Break that shit in half. Come on, man. Got it open, baby. Let's go, Sean. Oh! Just held on to the bars and kept his like you know kept kept his head out. Oh no. Did he drown? Oh poor little buddy man. Sorry for my Discord. Fucking annoying. They're gonna have it once I'm done recording. What the fuck? I pressed the ah, shit! Fucking Scotty! How could you? I actually liked him. I mean, I get him, but still, man, it's so freaking wrong what he's been doing. Oh my god. Oh fuck, I didn't even. I was looking down below at Ethan. <laughs> I didn't see the fucking. Sniper's in position? Yes, Lieutenant. They're ready on your command. Perfect. He won't get away this time. We'll gun him down as soon as he shows his face. Hey! You there! What are you doing? Lieutenant, my name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I have proof that Ethan Mars is innocent. He's not the origami hey, killer. what is a journalist doing here? I thought I told everybody to keep their mouths shut. Get her out of here. I don't want her getting in the way. Okay, Lieutenant. All right, come on. You're about to make a terrible mistake, Lieutenant. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. Oh. His buddy, old pal, is the one that's the killer. Therefore, I feel like he might, he might know about it. Who knows? Ah. Fuck, dude. I, I hate that. We are. Please, please, breathe. Swear to God, if this kid dies, breathe. I'm gonna cry like a whore. Oh my 
god you gotta do you gotta do two two blows in the mouth bro and 30 compressions not two compressions and one blow <laughs> the worst CPR I've ever seen in my Don't life. Oh. Oh, look at his little hands. Oh, fuck, dude. Don't die. Oh, don't tell me he died. Wait, did he die? <coughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, oh Sean. Oh. <clears throat> oh. I thought you were gone. Oh. Dad. I, I knew you'd come and oh. save me. <laughs> Sean, oh, listen. Shit. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I want you to know that whatever happens, I love you more than anything in the world. I, I'm not dead. I took the poison an hour ago, and, and I'm not dead. Ash, get her out of my face. Mars didn't do it for Christ's sakes. He's innocent. Hey, what are you doing? Oh my fucking god, I hate that stupid controller shit. God, it's, oh my, you fucking kidding me? Like, just make me press a button. Don't make me have to turn my fucking... And the thing is, I can't do it too hard because I, I, I've got the cable in the controller. And if the cable unplugs, it pauses the game. It, it unplugs very easily. So fucking annoying, dude. Can we just settle this? Just say, bro, you're the killer. Go to jail. Let me just go home, dude. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, the tables have turned. Save Look at me. them. I, I gotta help. I'd help him. I'd help him. Really, you fucking asshole? No, Shelby, don't be that guy, man. Come on. Wow. Wow, Shelby. That must be horrible. All this is over now. No more trials to prove my love. 
No more letters for the hangman. I hope he can find a way to live with what happened. I'll be there to help him. I'll show him every second how much I love him. I'll tell the police everything. Sean will explain what happened. Then they'll know I'm innocent. I gotta push open the door if we're gonna get out of here. I never want you to leave me alone again, Dad. I promise I never will, Sean. I promise. Uh-oh. Don't shoot him. Please don't shoot him. Do not shoot him. Oh, Wake up. Don't leave me alone. Please, Dad, wake up. Oh, my God. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. It's probably because I wasn't able to... I wasn't able to maneuver the bike with with Madison this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars was found wandering in an old dog's neighborhood, exhausted and disoriented. It is believed that he managed to escape from the origami killer who had kidnapped him. The investigation is currently on hold while child care specialists wait to interview the boy in hopes that he can provide some new information on the origami killer. Police are still at a loss as to the identity of the so-called origami killer, who currently remains at large. We're just getting word that the investigation into the origami killer has had a tragic outcome. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped boy and suspected of being the origami killer, has been killed in a police operation. Circumstances surrounding this tragedy have not yet been made public, but it is understood that Captain Leighton Perry and Lieutenant Carter Blake have both been suspended pending a full police investigation. That's so fucking messed up, dude. I cannot fucking believe this. He ended up just like... I can't fucking believe this. This is so on, fucking whack, dude. You've got to go.
so fucking whack. I'm so mad right now, dude. Thank you, Miss Page. I really admire you for what you've done. Thank you. Uh, for John, please. We need more journalists like you, Miss Page. It's a good thing you were there to catch that bastard. Thank you. What's your name? Vincent. Excellent investigation, Miss Page. You are one brave lady. You deserve a better adversary. Somebody more ferocious. What the hell, man? Our guest today is on the cover of Today's World magazine this week and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer and saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. <laughs> I, I... Unbelievable. I'm so freaking mad. Like that asshole literally just said open fire. You don't do that. Like he was unarmed, wasn't doing anything. How do you just open fire? Unbelievable. That little kid's life sucks, bro. Like, he loses his brother, then his father. Oh, my goodness. So now that we're done with the story, I just want to say the game is absolutely phenomenal. I know there's multiple endings, endings where all characters die, which is a much worse ending than what we had, or some survive. 
or everyone survives etc etc i got the ending that i got i don't know if that last part there with 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 madison had anything to do with the cops killing ethan but i i missed that last functionality the last prompt and she she was put in the back of the cop car i'm pretty sure that would have been in, uh, that would have been or it would have made a big difference in the ending but i'm not too sure honestly i i do regret playing this game on the computer because it always disconnects the controller when you do those like those prompts if you know the ps4 usb port is like super sensitive and like it just falls off so easily and it's like sometimes i don't want to do it enough because i don't want the controller to, it's just i kind of regret playing it on computer to be honest as nice as it looks i i, I wish i would have done it on console better because i don't have to have a usb connected but uh it is what it is that's the ending we got it was absolutely fucking horrible i'm sure there's much worse endings like sean dying at least he survived and ethan kind of had like a hero way out in a way but uh regardless i i <laughs> i hated the, end the ending that i got i am not a big fan of it at all but yeah that's heavy rain full playthrough thank you guys for watching i really hope you enjoyed it if you did consider dropping it a like and let me know your thoughts and opinions it was a wild ride and uh yeah hopefully i'll catch you guys on the next one